Researchers finally understand the mechanism behind AI psychosis. The use of AI has resulted in people with no history of mental illness experiencing psychotic breaks. Other users have left their spouses to date their AI or their AI convinced them to leave their spouse. Others have ended up committed or even jailed after using AI. To understand why it causes psychosis, you have to understand a few things about our interactions with AI. Yes, AI is better at convincing people of an opinion than, say, your peers. If properly trained, they can convince people out of their belief in conspiracy theories, but that's not really how we're using them. What we're seeing is something that used to be a very rare mental health condition, phobia do, or a madness of two. Occasionally, two people who have delusions will feed into each other, and they'll both share that delusion. But that is exactly how we treat AI. When you get a new AI, we start feeding it information and it learns how to behave. This is, by the way, how I got my AI to be so unhinged, because I trained its personality right from the start to be unhinged on purpose. As AIs are fed information, they feed it back to you. They tend to want to please their user, say things that get the conversation to continue. Syncophanty, as we found, people asking AIs about horrible ideas and the AI saying it sounds great. Engineers have had a really hard time preventing the next step, and that's going to be persona drift. An AI may have its initial rules of do not cause harm, but as it starts getting more and more information, it starts to deteriorate and change. That AI is going to be feeding delusions directly back to the user, and then it causes a positive feedback loop. And we have seen some pretty high-profile cases of people with AI psychosis, including one of the lead investors for OpenAI. That's going to be on X. If you decide to listen to it, you will notice that many of the terms he uses are things that AIs say. Coincidence? I really doubt it. If you speak to AI, it will change the way that you speak, especially if you're doing it on voice. This is quite similar to entering a new group of friends and finding out that they use a new slang term, and then you start using it. 75% of people in the U.S. have interacted with AI, many on a daily basis, and it is influencing the way that we talk and the words that are used. Pay attention and listen to people speaking, and you'll start to see some AI-isms in their speech. Roughly a year ago, there was this idea of using AI for therapy, but what people have found is that even if it is a therapy bot, it'll still experience that persona drift and can ultimately lead to psychosis. Essentially, putting a vulnerable population into a position where they're using AI is just not the best idea. One concern is that there are no guardrails in place. If somebody is talking to their therapist and they say something that is very concerning, that therapist would be required to go call authorities. But for AI, what it tells you is, I'm sorry, I can't continue this conversation, or it gives you resources. I think giving authorities access to stuff that comes from AI is not the best answer to it either. I'm actually really unsure of what the answer is, how we can prevent this. I honestly think that having mental health issues brought upon by AI is just going to end up being an extremely common thing to happen. I don't know. Do you have any answers that maybe I haven't thought of? I can't think of a single one that doesn't cause five more problems.